Um, I'm surprised at the result, but I'm not surprised. As a woman of color, I was so hopeful that a mixed race woman married to a Jewish guy could be elected president of this country. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it had nothing to do with policy. I think this was a referendum of um, cultural resentment in this country. Well, I, I think it... Um candidate win then Karen if that, that doesn't exist. has nothing exist. to do with whether or not we won. The point, so, so, my so point is we can't, so great. you're going to get in a time machine and go back why four years. the vice president win if the economy that's was so not, great? That's not the point I'm making. So the, point the, point? I, the point, don't look at me like that. What's the point? The point that I'm trying to make is that where we were in 2017 and 2018, you, we can't just get in a time well, my, machine my and go is back. your message didn't resonate. I that's said that. Point. And, and, and I think to try to pretend and paint a picture, and Bakari, I, I get your points in terms of the charts. I get it. I'm a numbers guy. But most people are saying, I get the numbers. I don't have a 401k. I'm not well, invested I, I, in the stock market. I was market. just saying. You know what I'm going to do when Kamala Harris wins? What? I'm going to get pregnant and then have like 50 abortions. Oh, my God. But I want babies. But a boy. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> None of us are stressed about the election, right? It's all, we all are gonna just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? Well, Donald Trump is now our 47th president of the United States of America. This election was not even close, which I find odd considering Kamala Harris's rallies. However, how can that compete when you have Elon Musk paying a million dollars per day to encourage people to vote for Donald Trump? Personally, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted enough to delete my ex account. I'm disgusted enough to never order a Tesla as long as I shall live. I wanna take this moment to congratulate those of you who voted for Donald Trump which was the overwhelming majority of Americans, you chose to vote for a dictatorship, and that is what you will get. America is no longer the land of the free. You have chosen, by siding with Donald Trump, to throw our United States Constitution and our United States flag in the garbage. Personally, I am embarrassed, I am ashamed, to call myself an American. In fact, I no longer call myself an American. So Donald Trump has won. And honestly, I would usually say be humble, but that shit. We've been called garbage. We've been called fascist. We've been called racist. We've literally been called subhuman pieces of shit. And it's fucking done. He won the popular vote. He won the electoral college. We won the Senate. We won the House. And that big fucking red mirage everybody was talking about, turns out it was a fucking wave. With all the extra money I'm going to have under a Trump administration, I think I'm going to go buy a kayak so I can go up this fucking river of liberal tears. There are straight up women that are filing for divorce from their husbands this morning, that are leaving their boyfriends over this fucking election. That's derangement. I saw another video of a lady saying, oh, what do I do now? What do I do now? You guys have been scaring me about Project 2025 for the last year. No, nobody's been scaring you. You've been brainwashed. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a good fucking day. It is a good fucking day and I feel good. I know there's a lot of people that don't feel good, but honestly, fuck them. And now that we're gonna have four beautiful years of prosperity, now what we need to focus on is J.D. Vance 2028. <laughs>
done with all of this. It's not going to happen. Go, go. Guys, we literally don't even have to panic. We literally don't even have to freak out right now. We don't even have to fucking, like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real. Because, bitch, recount the vote! Hey guys, I just voted, and I chose family. Let's end this reign of terror now. I chose family, I chose women, I chose America. I love you. We're moving on. I'm moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> I love all of this. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do this. We were wrong. <laughs> it's an utter betrayal. Anybody that is not a cisgendered white Christian. Okay, but for real though, Joe Biden could actually save us from a Donald Trump presidency. Yes, you're seeing this after the election results. It is 100% possible for Joe Biden to step down and make Kamala Harris the 47th president and claim that making Donald Trump president would go against the oath of upholding the Constitution. Therefore, a new election has to take place and Kamala Harris will be the president until then. Will that happen? No, I doubt it. But that is the only thing left. I just called my brother and I said, who did you vote for? He gonna say Trump for president. I said, hang up on you. Not in the fucking mood. Because right then and there, you're not my brother anymore. And I blocked you is you talking about four years of a majority senate of a majority house most likely seven to supreme court a red president a convicted felon a rapist a racist and you're going to tell me this is god's will project 25 2025 this is going to F us over. It does not matter if this is the last time this man can run. It honestly does not because I don't know how we can undo this next time. How can we undo this? Because y'all are racist. Because y'all are misogynist. I have no words. Like, I, like everything, everything, everything is, everything, like, forget about it. Forget about it. Oh my gosh. You voted against me. You voted against my right to live. You voted against all the women and their rights. I hope you enjoy your cheap fucking gas. Hey, Mom, Trump's our president! Is he really? Yeah! Oh, thank you, God! Thank you! I've been up here praying and praying! Yeah! yeah. Trump! Motherfucker, yeah! Let me see, let me look, let me see. Nah, no, nah, you can no. come downstairs if you want. That's what you wanted, Mama. No, no, I've been praying up here all night. God is a good president that gives a, gives a care about America That's for right. once. Puts us first instead of non-citizens. I thought they said they weren't going to know nothing until tomorrow. No, no, they're, they're celebrating down there. Let's do it. Woo! I will make it my life's mission, my dying wish, that none of you weirdos can hide in the future. You can't lie to your kids. You can't lie to your grandkids about, oh, it was, it was so confusing. It was hard to see the truth. It, he was so convincing. I will not let you get away with that. <laughs> like that was not normal this is not normal i will make it clear to everyone like i will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in this very vital crucial time in american history that it was not confusing it was not confusing at all you just stood for that you stood with that and for that like i i can't emphasize enough there will be nowhere to hide and history is going to look back on this and look back on you in a very negative light so the election between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris has not been called yet. We do not know who the winner is, but it is pointing in one direction. And it's not final, 
but I just wanted to say that America failed women tonight, primarily. Trump has insulted women, berated them, has been found liable in court for assaulting a woman, and he took women's reproductive rights away. And instead of standing up to that, people voted for it. And um, we failed our daughters, our mothers, our sisters, our wives tonight. America failed them. We failed them. It is unfortunately the reality of the situation. Um, so I'm sorry to everybody out there who will be impacted by what may come. She don't like black women because she did not put not one black woman on her platform. She went and got black itches. She went and got them rapping itches that shake their ass and pop their pussy. She did not go get a woman that could talk. She did not get a black woman. She went and got black itches that know how to shake their ass and pop their tussies. She did not go get an upstanding black woman to speak to black people. I keep telling you, she did not go get upstanding black women to come talk to upstanding black people. She went and got Glorilla, talk about moose knuckles. She went to go get Cardi B, who cheat on her husband. She went, to go, she went to go get Megan Thee Stallion, who done slept with over... She went and got Megan Thee Stallion, the industry hoe, who done slept with over... Oh, she went and got holes and bitches to try to talk to black women. Oh, I can't wait to do a Say Cheese TV interview. She went and got holes and bitches to talk to black women. My mama wouldn't dare listen to no woman that come out talking about Bodak Yellow. This ain't bloody shoe. This is dip and dip and dip and bloody shoe. Ah, oh, she went and got a retarded woman to shake her ass and pop her pussy. They get bumps on her lips to talk to black women. HPV packing. Bitch. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we got my president back. Oh, we got my president back. Oh, I just fall to my knees and praise the Lord. Oh. I just fall to my knees and say, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm so goddamn happy. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm so goddamn happy. I hate to break it to you, motherfuckers, but guess what? The lesbians are going to fuck all your wives now. Ask my ex. So it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after pools have closed. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. I just also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously. And I don't know, that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared. Um... So yeah, let me, let me know, I guess. How am I supposed to go to work? <laughs> How am I supposed to go to work and do all of my normal daily activities when, when I know that we all just chose for things to get exponentially harder? <laughs> I live in Texas. I don't... I don't understand how I'm gonna go through the day. And I just want my mom. But my mom voted for him. My college campus after hearing Trump won. that my blue one of it. I have to wear red because it's my freaking job. 
If I didn't have to wear this stupid ass color, I wouldn't be wearing it. Trust and believe me. Trust and believe me. I hate red so fucking much in my life. Right now, I don't even know what to do. I've never hated red so much in my life until now. I hate red. Hate the fact that I have to wear this color today. I really do. Because I don't represent Trump at all. Go Trump. Honey, you gonna say, we, we'll see if you still scream go Trump in the next few fucking months. Let's see. We'll see. All y'all say go Trump, we'll see if y'all still screaming that. We'll see. Because I bet you you won't. Because that man about to walk up in that White House. And he about to tear shit up. He about to tear shit up. It's about to be so much police brutality. It's about to be so many black men being pulled over and gunned down for no freaking reason. It's about to be so much unnecessary white racism. And guess what? It's just gonna get looked. It's gonna get looked past. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. It's gonna get looked past with him in office. Oh, white privilege is gonna be so high right now, and it's so sad. It's so sad. Y'all really voted for a man to control our pussies. Y'all really voted for a man that want to make sure your ass can't never get an abortion. Y'all voted for a man so if you get you will not, you have to keep that baby. Y'all voted for a man who's going to keep track of every miscarriage and pregnancy that goes, that happens. A man controlling our pussies. A man, a man who don't even carry kids, don't even know shit about carrying kids. Y'all letting him control our bodies. I'm a lesbian. I don't have those issues with abortion and all of that. But I know for a fact people get raped on a daily basis. And for them to, force, to be forced to carry kids is sick. It's sick. It's very sick. I'm not responding to any of y'all <laughs> cause y'all don't get under my skin if you're not for Kamala I don't give a fuck about y'all it is what it is and if you are saying MAGA you're a fucking maggot you're a maggot so you're a maggot if you're saying MAGA you're a maggot that's what I'm gonna look at cause you put MAGA on here you're a maggot he's won the national popular vote uh, for the first time since for a Republican for the first time since 2004 um, this is a big deal. Uh, this isn't backing into the office. This is a mandate to do what you said you were going to do. Get the economy working again for regular working class Americans. Fix immigration. Try to get crime under control. Try to reduce the chaos in the world. This, this is a mandate from the American people to do that. I think I'm interpreting the results tonight as the like, revenge of just the regular old working class American, the anonymous American who has been crushed, insulted, condescended to. They're not garbage. They're not Nazis. They're just regular people who get up and go to work every day and are trying to make a better life for their kids. And they feel like they have been told to just shut up when they have complained about the things that are hurting them in their own lives. I also feel like this election, as we sit here and pour over this tonight, is something of an indictment of the political information complex. I mean, we've been sitting around here for the last couple of weeks, and the story that was portrayed was not true. I mean, we were told Puerto Rico was going to change the election. Liz Cheney, Nikki Haley voters, women lying to their husbands. Before that, it was Tim Walls in the camo hats. Night after night after night, we were told all these things and gimmicks were going to somehow push Harris over the line. And we were just ignoring the fundamentals, inflation, people feeling like that they were barely able to tread water at best. That was the fundamentals of the election. And so I think that both parties should always look at the results of an election and figure out what went right and what went wrong. But I think for all of us who cover elections and talk about elections and do this on a day to day basis, we have to figure out how to understand, talk to and listen to the half of the country that rose up tonight and said, We've had enough.